So after all the drama and chaos, finally the elections in India are over and as per all the exit polls and the expectations, Narendra Modi is all set to become the Prime Minister of India for the next five years as well. While all the anxiety, the curiosity about the 2019 Indian elections might be over by now, it is all set to start in Canada very soon. Yes, if you were unaware, your dream country Canada is also going to have federal elections this year in the month of October. So many people were requesting this video. So here I am, Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad to tell you about the effect of 2019 federal elections on the Canadian immigration. We are going to discuss this after this short intro. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Alright, I know most of the people watching this video won't have great knowledge about the Parliament of Canada. So I will start with providing some information about it, which becomes necessary if you want to understand the effect of 2019 federal elections on the Canadian immigration. I don't want you to know the details of the Parliament as such, but what is important is to understand the party standings in the current, that is the 42nd Canadian Parliament. The last federal elections were held in 2015 when the Liberal Party of Canada won the maximum number of seats and hence they are in power at the moment. After that it was the Conservative Party, then the New Democratic Party, then Bloc Québécois which is basically a federal party from Quebec. After that the Green Party of Canada. So now you basically know that there are three major parties which would be in the race to form government after the 2019 general elections. The Liberal Party, the Conservative Party and the New Democratic Party of Canada. It's also good to know about the leaders of these parties. So for the Liberal Party of Canada, Justin Trudeau is the leader who is now the Prime Minister of Canada as well. For the Conservative Party of Canada, Andrew Scheer is the leader and for the New Democratic Party of Canada, Jagmeet Singh is the new leader. If you were unaware, you would definitely be amazed to see a Sikh in the race for a Canadian Prime Minister. Mr. Singh was born and brought up in Canada by his Indian parents. He was elected as a Member of Parliament this year after he became the leader of NDP in October 2017. Okay, now let's talk about the view of these three political parties on the Canadian immigration. Let's talk about the Liberal Party first of all. Under the Liberals, immigration policies have put Canada in an increasingly stark contrast on the world map. Chief among their policies was the adoption of increased immigration targets that would see Canada welcome more than 1 million new permanent residents by the end of 2021. True to their name, they have also liberalized immigration policies to reduce the time it takes to get the Canadian citizenship as well. Since taking power in late 2015, the Liberals have overseen a dramatic increase in the number of invitations to apply for Canadian permanent residence from 33,000 in 2016 to 86,000 in 2017 and around 90,000 in 2018 and it is only going to increase in 2019 and upcoming years. If they come into power again, immigration of Canada would continue to thrive in numbers with regular updates in rules as seen in the last couple of years. Next in the line is the Conservative Party. If the Conservatives win in October, changes to Canada's immigration policy are possible. While they have to yet provide a more extensive outline of their immigration platform, the Conservatives say they are for a fair, orderly and compassionate immigration system that would emphasize both an immigrant's ability to become self-sufficient and Canada's labor market needs. Conservative immigration critic Michelle Rempel said, we would directly link the number and skills of people seeking to enter Canada for economic reasons to the needs of the Canadian economy. This emphasis on economic immigration was central to conservative immigration policy when they governed Canada between 2006 and 2015 and resulted in their introduction to the Express Entry System in 2015. Yes, Conservatives introduced the 
express entry system in 2015, which the Liberals have seemed to carry forward really, really well. The Conservatives have not said whether they would change the express entry CRS or the overall immigration target set by the Liberals. Rempel, however, has been critical of the Liberals' approach to setting the targets which she compared to an auction. Rempel said immigration targets had to be rooted in policy and the product of a process. NDP or the National Democratic Party Canada's third major political party, the NDP, is a left-of-centre party that is best known for spearheading the push for universal health care for all Canadians. While the NDP has never formed the government, they could hold the balance of power in a minority government and thereby contribute to the shaping of immigration policy. The NDP has yet to detail its approach to immigration policy, but the party's views on immigration typically emphasize compassion for immigrants and favorable positions on issues like family reunification. However, Jagmeet Singh, being himself from an immigrant family, has sometimes expressed his views in the favor of immigration. But yes, their policies are yet to be disclosed. So, in a nutshell, if Federals win this election, then the immigration policies would stay more or less similar to what we have seen in the last couple of years. The immigration targets would be increasingly high, at least until 2021, which they've already declared. If the Conservatives win this election, then there would definitely be some changes in the policies as they have been regularly criticizing the policies set by the Liberals. There can be considerable impact on refugee and asylum immigration. NDP has yet to detail its approach to immigration policy, but the party's views on immigration typically emphasize compassion for immigrants, so there's no need to worry. Having said that, I will keep you updated on all the recent developments in this front as well. For sure, you're not going to see any major change this year, so tighten up your screws, work really, really, really hard, and hope for the best. So thank you guys for watching this video. If uh, you feel that the information shared in this video was helpful to you, please click the like button and share it with your friends if you think it would help them. And also, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it before moving on to the next video.